And now a sudden chance to counter. Well, that looks a decent ball. Hits it! And he hits the net. And that is what they came to see, what they demanded to see. His first. What a great header, got plenty on that. Yeah, he makes those runs with, with great stealth and a ghost-like arrival to get his head to the ball. Manchester United grab the equaliser and we're all square. Ah, oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked and uh, I still haven't moved. Araujo proves too strong. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Now it's Forlan. Forlan is flagged offside. That's a decent clearance. Done delicately. Rice, and it's Marquinhos. It's the sort of situation that they'll want to capitalise on now. He's in a good position here. He's had a shot. Maldini did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. I'm struggling to work out whether that was brave or a bit stupid. Maybe both, actually. Well, that's been cut out, well played. And it's Messi, pinches it off him. They need to play this quicker in transitions like this. Keeper's got good distance on that. Bops him off it and wins back the ball. They've got to be quick moving this forward. Oh, well played, lovely. Oh, well played, well sorted out. Has a go! Oh, surely that deserved better. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Oh, good read. And now they can clear their lines. Maicon makes the interception. Messi. Well, that's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Right card. Out to the left it goes. And the referee brings the first half to a close. Manchester United head back in at the break after a first half that has been, from a scoreline point of view in any case, an even one. Both sides have contributed in equal measure, neither looking overly under pressure from the other. And at the break, glass half full, half empty. It's one all. So your views on the first half? Yeah, I think they'll be happy with that scoreline. I just hope the second half is as good as the first. It's been pulsating stuff. So, both teams heading off for the break, an interesting game has brewed up here, hoping perhaps for a little bit more from both parties in the second half, but the score at half-time is 1-1. And that's the second half started. And that's been intercepted. Oh, easy pickings there. Well, the idea was a good one. The execution of it, not quite so. Encouraged the pass with an intelligent run, but the pass just lacked pace. Oh, it's come loose. Mbappe goes hurtling down that left-hand side. He's looking for the runner here. And he's made sure that's not getting through. Schneider. 
Now the counter. It's a pretty loose pass. And Mateus. David Villa. Oh, he's going to be disappointed with that. Messi. Looking for options. And the shot! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling, and fast. So, Jim, is that the manager telling the forwards that they must stay forward for now? Well, I think he just is concentrating on the shape here, and he wants them to press as high as they can and get in the right position to do that collectively. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. David Villa. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. Ronaldinho, le numéro 10, le numéro 22, le numéro 6. À leur place, le numéro 17, le numéro 27, le numéro 11, le numéro 4. Tommy Yasu. That's good running with the ball. Oh, what a ball! A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. And that interception was most necessary. Played with finesse. That looks a up to meet it. It's gone in, and it is an own goal. Oh, it's terribly unfortunate for them, and maybe we can attribute that to a to a loss of focus. Well, who saw that coming? It has certainly made things interesting. Well, that's something you don't expect at a match like this, but I guess you have to take whatever way it comes, and, and very gratefully. There, there it is! Looks offside, I think. Yep, the flag is up. Oh, his goal-scoring celebrations are going to be cut short. The flag was up for offside, even if the referee didn't spot it straight away. A moment's uncertainty there, but it is the right call. And he was quick to react. Defenders on the back foot. Out for a throw. Bullet really needed to concentrate on... Yeah, he's fouled him there. Marquinhos. Now it's Hullet. Park Ji Sung calmly anticipates. And it's Neymar. Maicon does really well to win the ball there. Oh, that looks a cracking ball. 
And the counter is on. Well seen, saw that coming. And no, that was never going to make it. Aimed beyond the defence. He's played him through. He's found a way through. Oh, look at the... Shot a goal! And it's in! Simplicity itself. Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but how about the pass? Just wonderful. Loved it. This is quite a battle. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and psychological edge now at this stage, but for me, they've got to chase a winner. Well timed, excellent interception. Don't you just love the level of intensity here? Neither is prepared to back down, and, and to be honest, that's how it should be. And that is a little undercooked. Pull it. Great chance! Goal! Nil! And again they hit the front. And that will surely go down as one of the easiest goals he could ever score. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant setup and finish. Changement pour Lille, le numéro 18, Villa. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Lille get themselves into the lead. Oh, this is fully deserved for me because they've shown great heart and spirit. It's there to win from here, or dare I say, throw it away now. Lille can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Forlan. Yeah, Lille needed that, they really needed it. You know, it was an intervention that had to be made. Serious trouble lay in store. Well, he certainly wasn't in the mood to take any risks. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. So he's plotting something before playing it in. Barella. Confirmation that there will be four minutes stoppage time. Out of play for a throw. And he's managed to gift it back. Well, it's a nice idea, but the execution was lacking. And that will be the final act. Manchester United lose by the odd goal. It could have gone either way, but that is no consolation. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? I thought it lived up to its billing, Peter. Very competitive, open and entertaining. And a little debating room as to whether the outcome was fair. So many thanks to Jim Beglin, that's all we have time for. Good evening to you.